Yo, what's going on guys? It's time. Welcome back to a brand new video and this is part number three of my iPhone 2015 live cockpit career and we're here in China for the third round of the season and um, before the video starts guys, I've got to say um, I definitely recommend go check out the co-op episode that did with Cadden the other day uh, the first episode of our Fry Cop which went up on Sunday night it was a really, really incredible race and loads of loads of action and incidents and I definitely recommend you go check it out so there'll be a link down below in the description for you guys to go click on that video first before this one but um, yeah um, before anything starts, I want to say, guys, I had an issue with uh, qualifying, and um, I normally record it in parts. So what happens is I record uh, qualifying, and then I stop recording, and then I watch back the recording, and then um, sorry, yeah, I, I watch back the recording, and then I start recording again, and then go into the race. Now what happens is when I stop the qualifying recording, I um, obviously watch it back, and um, at the start of the qualifying, it was absolutely fine. Like I sort of just hover over the video. And it looked fine, but then once I opened up in Vegas um, to double check everything was okay, it um, actually turned out to be corrupted. So um, I did qualify, and um, as you can see, we qualified I think, in seventh place if we look at the grid here. So I'll be starting this race in seventh place, and um, I'm only going to be able to show you the race in this episode. So hopefully, you guys can uh, let me off for that. But um, it's just one of the things that happen every now and again when you get corrupted files, and there's not much you can do. So um, we're here in the race, and as you can see, we're starting pretty high up for China, which is a pretty good. Uh, result for us but we're going to be on the option tyre and um, it was a pretty wet qualifying I've got to say it was raining really really hard and um, that actually favoured us for once the wet conditions really did help us out and um, we got a free choice of tyres so we're going to start on a fresh set of soft tyres for the race so without further ado we're going to jump into the Chinese Grand Prix right, so let's change this real quick there we go and we're going to gear up to five red lights and the Chinese Grand Prix is underway and we get a pretty Appalling start, not gonna lie, that was pretty poor, but uh, we're underway here. We're down to P8 now, so we did start P7, like I said, and um, it was actually a pretty decent qualifying, I must admit. We did pretty well to get P7 because this track, I just, I've got no pace at all, so it'd be a bit of a miracle if I can get a good result around here. So I think this one's gonna be damage limitation as we have a bit of contact there with Felipe Massa, and um, someone's gone round, I don't know who it is, but there's been some kind of contact behind, and uh, my team actually Perez is now behind us, so. Can we got the inside of Massa? Oh my god, getting really close to Felipe. They broke really, really, really early there and didn't expect it. But uh, we we're unscathed so far. So A far. couple of incidents, but uh, we got off quite lightly for now. Can we maybe run at Massa for a possible overtake here? I'll have to wait and see. A little bit wide right there. Jesus. I'm starting to struggle a little bit. I'm slowly falling back into the clutches of Perez and I can't keep up with the cars ahead of me, which is bad news, but. I've just got no pace around here, which is not the one, but um, like I said, this track is one of my favourites, and I'm really starting to struggle with these tyres. I've got to say, I don't know what's happening up front, but the, the entire top seven have just bunched up into a pack, so whoever's up front is causing some kind of train, but this is good news for us, because they'll start tripping over each other and slowing themselves down, and then maybe in the long run, with strategy, we might be able to bring ourselves back into it. And I'm starting to gain on Massa, which is good news. And I'm pulling away from Perez as well. Okay, so here we go then. I've selected the prime tyres. I'm expecting some of the AR to go into the pit lane. And there they go. So we're going to pit in. Make sure we don't lock up here. Just concentrate a little bit. Okay, good, good pit entry there. That was solid. So I'm um, just going to hope that we hold someone up. And that we don't get held up. There's only one car coming in behind us, which is good news. And uh, hopefully we can hold somebody up. We're going to hold up the Red Bull and the Williams. And maybe not the Ferrari. No, we didn't, we didn't get the Ferrari. But we've got the two cars at least. We're going to come in and have a, hopefully a quick pit stop. Go into the prime tyres. Drag this thing out. And then hopefully we can uh, use options to the end. And that's a really quick pit stop. 2.3. That's incredible from the boys. Really good pit stop there from the Force Indian Mechanics. Good stuff. Alonso is on the prime, so he's going to be staying out for a little while, so I need to pass him quick. We're going to pass him now. Accelerate, there we go. Up the inside. I'm going to hang it around the outside here. There we go. Ooh, went a bit wide there, but a nice move nonetheless. We might have just missed the RS on Massa, though, which is not good. So everyone's going to be in the pits now, or most of them at least. So we should regain our net position. We're in ninth, so the yellow flag up ahead. Oh my god, it's been a crash. There's a Ferrari gone round. One of the Ferraris have gone round. I think it's, yeah, Rakan's gone round. And um, that's put 
uh, Massa and R Ricardo right on the back foot. Ericsson's up there in fifth, holding them up. So we could have a chance to get some positions here. That isn't going to help though, but we're going to try and begin some places here. They're going to trip over each other and I'm going to launch one up the inside. Get some good traction, come on. There we go, we've passed Massa. Very opportunistic move, we just launched one up the inside of the hairpin. And now we need to try and pass Ricardo before he passes Ericsson, because once he passes Ericsson, he's going to be riding off into the sunset. Ericsson is just parking the bus right now. We're going to launch one up the inside now for Ricardo here. Can we hang it around the outside? Uh, Ricardo's got more grip on the option, but we're going to keep going. We're going to keep it going around the outside and we made it stick. We're going to put into Rich Mix, try and pass Ericsson before the hairpin. So we're going to open up the RS now. There we go. We're in Rich Mix. We're going to gain so much on Marcus Ericsson here. Can we make the move up the inside? We're going to go for it. Launch one up the inside. Breaking really, really late. Job done. Here comes Massa. He's right on the back of me. He's going to launch one up the inside. We're going to squeeze him. I want to try and hang it around the outside. Hopefully, with a bit more speed, we can make the move stick. Massa's got me, though. He's done really good. He's managed to make it stick. Here comes Danny Ricardo as well. Oh my god, they got so much more grip than me. They're just on the option tires and they're so much faster. We're going to try and go around the outside. And he's got me already. Wow, so that lasted all about two corners. Okay, so it looks like Ricardo and Massa are into the pit lane. I'm assuming other front runners to be in the pits as well. It's just a matter of where they're going to come out. There's a couple of cars, as you can see, in the pit lane there. That's a Veto, I think. So we're going to take third place for now. Okay, so here we go then. We're going to come into the pit lane now and um, hope that we have a good stop just like the first time. And um, we're going to go into the option tyres, so we should be much faster. We're going to be on the options now and then on the next stint. So we went options to the end. And we've got a little bit of fuel to burn off, so hopefully we can try and hunt down those ahead of us. Now, we've got the slow tyre out of the way, so this is good news. And for some reason, Paris is coming in behind me and forcing they're going to have to stack them. So, um, okay, that's another good stop, actually. 2.4, so that's a nice quick stop. And um, we're going to rejoin behind Massa and uh, behind Ricardo, it looks like. So, we haven't lost any places, but we haven't gained any. So, that's not too bad, but now we're on a much faster tyre. So, I think the AI are still in the option. They'll go on the option one more time. And then they're going to go for primes at the end. So for now, it's going to be level playing field. But then the next stint is when I'm really going to start to have an advantage. So I'm going to save our rich mix for that final stint. We've really started to gain on Ricardo. I don't know if we've got the DRS or not, but we've definitely started to gain. And we're actually going to maybe have a chance of passing down the straight here. He must be running his low revs. We're going to fly past him. And we, and we do have DRS. Here we go then. This is going to be an easy move on Ricardo. And he's on the option tyre, so we've got a really, really good pace on these tyres so far. And that's the move done. Accidentally go down the first gear, but we've got the move done. And we're up in the P6, so these options are working very nicely for us. And Ricardo's into the pit lane. So something strange going on there, because I'm pretty sure Ricardo did pit as we set a 39-0, a best lap of the race. Still 1.5 of what Lewis Hamilton can do, but we're not racing Lewis Hamilton this race. We're racing those around us, so um, nice move there, but strange what happened to Ricardo as he goes into the pit lane. So here we go then. Let's have a look at what we've done. And um, we're actually starting to gain a mass a little bit, so... We could be maybe starting to hunt down Massa and really in a little bit, so um, let's try and keep on pushing here and see what we can do. Massa's in the pit lane by the look of it. Obviously Williams had to respond to my pace, so I think they pit my lap earlier. And they're going to stick him onto the prime, so actually nothing about it. everyone should be coming for prime tyres. So we might gain a couple of places here. This lap is going to be so crucial. I need to have an incredible in lap to try and keep the gap to Massa constant. There's Lewis Hammond just in front of me there. 
they're on the primes now, so we're going to go on the option to try and push in that final stint. Okay, so here we go then. I'm coming for a pit stop. Very good pit entrances today, not locking up a single time, which is crucial. Bottas is in the pit lane as well, so I don't think he's going to be a target, but you never know. You, maybe you're later on in the race, but um, we really need to make this final stint count now. We need to just get on it and be on it with these new soft tyres. So hopefully we have a quick stop and it's going to be a 2.3. So perfect pit stop as fast as you like. And there goes Massa just going past me there. So he's our target and we're going to hunt him down. We set a 38.7. Personal best of the race and we are really catching Massa, but we need to go faster. Otherwise... We're going to struggle because we need to get him and overtake him before the tyres start to drop off in performance. So we need to catch him now. Well, hopefully, by the end of this lap, we should be on the back of Massa as so we set another personal best. So hopefully, this is the lap. We've got a mana in front of us there, which could cause a bit of uh, palaver, a bit of trouble. Massa may get held up right now through these next two corners, which is good for us. Running a little bit wide down to the curb. Oh, almost losing the rear end there. Might have to catch it though. Mary's going to get right in our way. But we should have DRS, which is good news because Mary's going to obviously cover the gap for us. Get on the power there. Force him away for up the inside of Mary. And we're away. We've lost a lot of time to Massa though. I don't think we're going to get him. We're going to need something special down this straight to catch Massa. We're going to open up DRS now. And uh, can we catch Felipe by the hairpin? No, we can't. We're nowhere near him. Game massively in the braking zone, but Mary just really screwed us over there. I was hoping it'd work the other way, and it'd work in our favour. But oh well. Here we are. DRS once again. Don't think we want to get Massa though. We may be able to line him up for a cheeky move, maybe through turns one and two, if we can sniff something out here. Gonna take an aggressive line, keep it nice and tight to get right onto the back of Felipe. We are literally sitting on Massa's gearbox right now. This should be it. We should be able to make the move nice and easy this lap. Just wait for the DRS, and it should be a full-blown conclusion here. Our oh, double shifted bikes, and it's gonna cost us a little bit of time. But we're gonna try and stick in the slipstream. And we should be able to get him here. Open up DRS. There we go. Here we go then. Can we get Massa before the hairpin? 360 kilometers an hour. Gonna go for one. Sniffed up the inside. Bit of a corner cut. Well, Massa actually defended quite nicely. So we're gonna have to try and get him somewhere else. Maybe now through the pit straight. Oh, the curve just spat me off a little bit there. But this should be it. We've got DRS. Should make it nice and easy for ourselves. I'm going to go to the outside to get a better run through turn one. There we go. And it is done. Rosberg wins the Chinese Grand Prix, but Massa is going to have DRS on us. Will he get us before the end of the straight? He's got some incredible straight down speed. And um, will he get us? I don't think he is. We're going to go a little bit defensive just to shield him off there. Here he comes. We're just going to go defensive. Make sure he doesn't make the move stick, and we should be able to bring this home safely. Tires have just gone off the cliff all of a sudden, but uh, we've got this fifth place safely in the bag as we go through the final corner. And I will take fifth place. That's an incredible result here for the Chinese Grand Prix, and um, some well earned points after a pretty solid qualifying in P7. So I will take that, and the team will definitely be happy with that result. And um, yeah, like I said, some solid points. So we're going to look over into the drivers' uh, standings now, see how we look in the championship now um as you can see there uh, rosberg wins hamilton in second so one two four mercedes vettel in third so pretty much a standard one two three all season in real life in the championship and then bottas in fourth and we managed to get fifth place and our teammate sergio perez in a very good seventh place so some solid points for forcing into this race and um overall really 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 solid so good points for us here and now moving on into the drivers in the standings and as you can see in the drivers we're still in third place only nine points off of Sebastian Vettel who's in the way so so far these first three races have been damage limitation even though we won Australia obviously that was a uh, different circumstance but overall the uh, championship so far is building quite nicely and once we get past Bahrain and Catalonia 
then um, I definitely think we'll be a lot more competitive in them races and we could be fighting for wins on a more regular basis. But overall, guys, it's been an absolutely fantastic race. We're just going to quickly uh, just go up to the constructors and we're in third place now. So Perez with some points has actually boosted us past Williams. But um, yeah, guys, as I was going to say, that's going to be the end of the video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. If you did, then please do smash the like button down below. Let's see if we can try and hit maybe... 70 likes that's a bit audacious but i'm gonna go for it let's try and hit 70 likes guys i know you guys can do it and um, yeah guys if you're new around here please do subscribe as i'm closing on 2,000 subscribers and i'd love to hit that milestone just before my birthday on the 23rd of december and uh, yeah guys i've got nothing more to say uh follow me on twitter at tom at tom 7 hd uh, if you want a partnership with freedom there's a link down below in the description but yeah guys that's about it from me and i'll see you in the next video so from me i'm out